Okay, so I wanted to make this video about relationships, but also friendships and just interactions with people, whether it be business, like I'm just learning so much, like when it comes to interacting with people. And I don't know, you may have seen in some of the videos, I put things like no time wasters, I require contracts for collaborations and all the other stuff, just going back to CA because people are unreliable, they're flaky and they're self-absorbed. That's just keeping it 100. So, yeah, that's why I do that, to protect my time, mainly to pre protect my time, because my time is of more value than money. So I was just listening to a guy, though, who's actually, he done like it. It was a little YouTube. It was only four minutes, but I was just thinking, that is so true. Like, it was to do with when guys got no time for you, and um, they make excuses. But I was like, that could be adapted to anyone. And there's another guy called Gaskins, who I absolutely love, like my 2020 resolution is never don't I don't listen to women basically who give who give advice about like dating all men when they're like never dated for 10 years like I don't listen to people like that I listen to the men who basically are giving you the inside of how they think and operate so anyway he was like basically saying a similar thing and it's the time you've got to be willing to give someone like an hour a day in the courting or dating stage and I was just thinking to myself there's not really anyone I could really think of who I'd be willing like to give an hour to. And I was just like, I don't see it's because you don't I don't see the value. It, the value in the interaction, basically, is always like a one sided someone taking, consuming and not giving. So I was just thinking, I, I know I don't want to say too much. I'm not I can't wait like for the day when I actually do have that person that I'm actually excited to spend time with like I will put delay my schedule or put things like down that I need to do in order to like spend time with that individual because I'm not really like for the majority of people I'm just like no I'd rather be designing sewing or doing something to like build myself up because I just don't see the value like that and I think it's like an unwritten rule. I'm just going to say it because people are uncomfortable saying it. But basically, a person's treat, a person's basically interaction with you, behavior, like the, the time, that's all a reflection. Like, is all a, ref is all a, 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 it is all a direct reflection on how they value you or your services. Because like I always say, like I could go on and on and on like this, like I could write a book on it. Maybe I will. Like you wouldn't go into Harrods and help yourself to like just go into the store and just pick yourself some stuff around there and just walk out the shop. So I just find it very like very disrespectful when people just assume or expect free things. And I'm just I'm just going to be completely honest. And also it's not like. The people who are expecting it, they're also not like, they're not on the platform like Louis Vuitton. Like if Louis Vuitton phoned me, to be honest though, I'm not moved by people like that. So I could, if like say Louis Vuitton phoned me tomorrow and was like, can I have, like this is obviously never going to happen, but it was like, oh, can you make me a bag for free? I'd be like, no. I'd be like, why would you want me to make the bag for free when you're Louis Vuitton? Like I, I've got a lot of integrity. I'd be like, you can pay me to make the bag like everyone else. So I, I just, I really despise the way like this kind of, <laughs> this is going to go into a rant. I really despise the way this fashion, this industry works. It just sickens me to be completely honest to my core. And I actually had a conversation on Facebook with someone about this. Another crafter, she sells too. I think, well, she's attempting to sell, but it's always the same of like, oh, can you do me this for free? I, ooh, I, that's what I'm saying. I, all the first words that are coming up in my mind right now, which I can't actually say, but that's the type of like disgust that stirs up in me because I feel like this industry is fashion. We're, we're not doctors. We're not saving people's lives. Like, yeah, we're crafting things. We're making things. It's either you pay the money or you don't pay. You go into a different industry or like, I, I don't know where it all developed from this asking for free stuff because no one like, it's like no one's going to go to a drugstore and be like, okay, just give me all the tetalopram off the shelf with like no cash. 
it really just it pisses me off. I got to be completely honest. It pisses me off to my core. So it's also like the exchange because it's obviously an industry that's built on ideas. And I was having like a conversation with my friend as well. Uh, not friend. I was having a converse, conversation, sorry, with someone who I pay. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I pay to do a service for me. And it's just saying about how you can just basically like hop on or jump on a website and then just like copy or mimic someone's work and then just bang your name onto it. And then like, that can technically be yours and uh it just so that's why I think it's very very it's, it's, it's a very sly disgusting industry that that's what I'm going to say to keep it clean because I'm like yeah I can't say what I'm thinking so that's kind of like that's cool that, that's basically to do with that's basically to do with the people who create and make stuff or people who want stuff for free like the so-called people are already in the industry and then there's the like the other flip of the coin like the consumers who are so tight and stingy that's if you go and refer to like my other vind my other little tiktok thing where i was saying about i made the mashup bag is recycled and i was saying about child sewers and child laborers and people will be like oh oh so sad there's like a six-year-old sewing but you're gonna go up to the um wherever you buy your cheap clothes you're gonna go there and then buy a couple of tops and not connect the dot together and it's, it's mainly religious people to be completely honest they're just dull so like they don't understand like the production and this is actually gonna be this wasn't not meant to be a rebuke but I'm gonna do it now this is actually going to be a rebuke for for um, the so-called Christians and other people who, who I won't name any names, but that's what I'm saying. This is my territory fashion. It can be a generic thing because there's a lot of people who are like this. They always complain about the prices of like little independent stores or independent, say, if you want to buy something from a black Hebrew person, whatever you call it. And then you sit complaining about the price. Now, if that person has made it by hand, they haven't done it mass produced. They got to buy the threads. That's why the price it is like the person needs to eat. I can tell you this from experience. We need to eat. Go and go and research the prices of cotton and everything else and then stop, start moaning about the price. Unless you're going to get off your lazy Americanized ass and go and pick the cotton in the field or wherever you are and make your own clothes because that would cut it all down just just lazy heathen people i'm saying that to hebrews too they won't do nothing this is like a basic skill you can hand stitch you can that's what i'm saying it's just slothfulness and just to like <laughs> just another thing which i was um actually thinking the other day because i was like the father's put such like a zeal in me for like laziness and the other day i was kind of like a little bit I didn't know, do I need to repent? Is it more me? And I literally in Proverbs, at that moment when I was thinking that, Proverbs came up on my Bible app. And in Proverbs, it was saying, laziness is the same as destruction. So you out there who all you ever preach about is fornication and all and other stuff, which is like always the worst sin that everyone always goes on about. And, and then what's it called? demonizes people i think all the other, i think gluttony and laziness is pretty much out up there as well in this probably in a similar bracket because you're unproductive you're unfruitful <sighs> right <laughs> i'm gonna go this wasn't meant to be me like offloading with that but but these are definitely my thoughts we're um, a small community of people. I, I get so annoyed. Every time I go to the shop, no disrespect, he's a lovely guy. I think he's an Asian guy. I've got no problems with him. I'm just like, why can't I just go to a shop and buy groceries from a black person? Because there's no businesses. This is the whole point. And even within the black community, they're dumb, dull, and dim. You won't pay, you, you won't pay your so-called brother or sister a correct price for anything. And then you've got the cheek to go on about the white man. You're the same. So anyway, that's why I want to say. Just become basically people have just become docile, I think, in this generation. Very docile. 
Like I just got my grand's sewing machine. They just, it was, wasn't was some big glamorous thing about sewing. It was just, you want to make something, sew it yourself. Instead of putting your energy to complain about the, pros, um, the prices that you want to pay for your modest clothes, pick up a needle and sew yourself. It's a huge industry full of so much exploitation. That alone is like a huge den of demons. That is it. I have loads of videos on here. I've got one about, I've got another channel called Her, Her Divine Royalty. I won't go in, I don't go into all the statistics and everything about how much waste is being used. And even the recycling stuff is only going to have like a tiny, small dent. The amount of gluttony, greed, sloth and consumption that America and the UK, you know, there's probably, I don't know about the other countries to be honest, but I know that's what I'm saying. Those two are definitely just high consumers of cheap things. It's, it's a renewing of the mind. And I find it interesting that how, like, you got the religious nutcases and they can go on about Torah, 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 day, night and afternoon and how it's a lifestyle. And I've never, that's what I'm saying, maybe it's just unique to me, the ministry I, he's given me. Like, I've never heard anyone actually care about where their stuff is produced. Yet the father says that he will be a swift judge against those who withhold the wages. And all those scriptures about justice, they're just kind of glossed over. And I've noticed that with pretty much every single Christian I've encountered. It's like they can't connect the dots. Like the father made this earth in Genesis, okay? I'm going to break it down very simply to you. He made this earth in Genesis. He put everything here, the cloth, not the cloth, sorry, the plants, which can make paper, cloth. If you don't know, plants can make fabric. You can do all sorts, beautiful stuff with all of the father, Abba's creation. It's been monetized. And it's being capitalized. So that's politics again. But it is, it's nothing that the father doesn't talk about. He talks about this stuff in his book, how he feels about it. So those are just some of my thoughts. I do get triggered uh, about that. People are just the, the dissonant, I think it's called cognitive dissonance. They don't connect the dots. This is the Bible is a real living book. There's practical wisdom in there. Everyone, not everyone, I know a lot of people get upset about Proverbs 31. And to be honest, they're probably lazy people. That's why they get upset about that. Why does she have to be the pinnacle of like a wife? Because she was independent. She wasn't waiting for her husband to come. I, I highly doubt she was the type of woman that was just sat there twiddling her thumbs, waiting for her husband. She was looking how she could physically, not only spiritually, but praying all day, every day, and doing nothing else, another one of my pet peeves, she was actually putting her hand to the plow to produce something so she could have something to give to the people. Okay, I've prayed for you. Here's here's an orange I've planted. Here's a, a cloak to put on your back. This is elementary stuff. It's basic needs that people need daily. You understand it because you've been birthed in poverty yourself. You know what the needs of the people are. So... That, that's like me closing out now with this. It's an ongoing, I'm sure it's just a satanic religious veil that Satan has on the majority of believers, whatever you want to call it, minds, because I'm yet to meet someone who actually is able to like organically connect spiritual things with physical things and marry the two. It's almost rare. So that's it. Check out the videos. Uh, I haven't got, there's so many, but the upcycling, the recycling ones. Um, it takes time. That's another thing. People, you know, and another thing about the ancient ways is not fast fashion. It takes time to do. And then, you know, you can say to someone, you, you've got big brands. We have them. I don't know. I think you've got Walmart in the USA. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But in the UK, we have like cheap mass production things like, pre-mark and all these and they just all banged out 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 like just all basically banged out just in a mass production what I do is like I'm here in my home like hand sewing machines sewing <clears throat> putting things on by hand 
I have like people who give me stuff that they're just going to trash and throw out. And then after they've seen I've recycled it, they want it back because they don't have a vision. They don't have the eyes to like see the stuff can be turned into different things. And I do pattern cutting from scratch. I do it all basically multi-talented. So if this is something <laughs> that you like, the recycling, the upcycling, if you actually have a genuine care about the yard of the father, then like, subscribe. Again, I delete any ignorant comments and all that other stuff. Um, but yeah, I wish you well anyway. Peace. Yeah. <sighs>